Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with another keto recipe from my diva family. It's been a while, I've missed you guys and I'm so excited to share this keto rice crispy treat recipe with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Plus, this is a very simple recipe. We only need a few ingredients and it's a great one to make with the kids. They really enjoy making this and eating it. And per usual, I'll leave the recipe and all the ingredients with measurements in the description box below, along with links to purchase the ingredients if you were planning to do so anyway. Go ahead and do it through the links in the description box. They are associated with the channel and it really helps so that I can bring you more videos just like this one. So to start, I go ahead and warm my Dutch oven pot over a medium to low heat. Add to the pot one stick of unsalted butter, approximately 115 grams, and let that melt down. I went ahead and let it brown slightly. You don't want to burn the butter, of course, just slightly brown. It's going to deepen the flavor, give it more of a caramel flavor. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in our keto marshmallows. We're gonna add in two bags of keto marshmallows and a pinch of salt, about 1 eighth of a teaspoon. Make sure to stir constantly once you add the marshmallows to prevent the marshmallows from sticking to the pot and to get just a nice smooth mixture, everything combined, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the cereal. Once I stir the butter and marshmallow combination into a silky, creamy texture, I go ahead and add half of a tablespoon of the Swoon Simple Syrup. It's a zero sugar sweetener that I found on Amazon. So go ahead and add that and then give it another stir. Then we move on to adding the cereal. I like to give the Rice crispy mixture a stir in between adding each cup just to make sure that there is marshmallow mixture evenly coating each grain of the delicious high key cereal. I really like this cereal. I eat it on its own. You could snack on it just plain out of the box but you know just that's my standard cereal right now on keto and I love it. I figured it would work for this recipe and it did like a charm. Once you've completed your Rice Krispie mixture, go ahead and spoon it into a silicone mold. You can spoon it out in equal amounts so all your Rice Krispie treats will be the same. The recipe shown using these molds yielded 11 Rice Krispie treats. Once you've got all your Rice Krispie treats into the silicone mold, go ahead and let the tray sit for between 40 and 60 minutes until you see the Rice Krispie treats firm up like this. And then you can go ahead and just easily pop them out of the silicone mold. You can enjoy your Rice Krispie treats right away or you can go ahead and store them away in the refrigerator. You can also seal them up in vacuum sealer bags for even longer storage. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you make it. I hope your whole family enjoys it. And of course you guys, as always my diva family, stay safe and be well. Until the next time, bye bye.